He had some property right off the bat that we had inherited from uh, Carolyn's folks. And we had 25 acres and, and I didn't know what to do with it. So I decided I was gonna plant a pecan grove on the lowland and on the upper part of plant pine trees. The pecan trees, it took, it took me a long time to figure some of that out. Uh, made lots of mistakes there. But once I got some of that behind me, I kind of learned how to, I, learned, I didn't kind of, I learned how to graft. I should have gave up, but I didn't. You know, we started pecans in 1984. So uh, the first field we planted, which is there by the house, uh, my wife was pregnant with my daughter. So kind of been in the family, you know, since that very beginning. So this is my vacation. This is my happy place. I get to come up here with my family, get to participate in this. Uh, even picking up the sticks, that's the hard work, you know, it's, it's still fun. It's something different than we, we do. Uh, this time of year, it being harvest time, if you've ever been around farming, there's just something about bringing the family together at harvest. I get to see all the family, nieces, nephews, everybody comes in. It's, it, it's just cool to be able to participate in that and be a part of it. When we first started this, you couldn't, you couldn't hardly sell a pecan. Nobody knew we was here. And, and word of mouth, has worked out where uh, over the years we've got more business than we can deal with. We have two daughters and one son and uh, our oldest daughter lives in Hot Springs and our son lives in Little Rock and then Sheila lives about two miles from us. And uh, they all work, they come and work in, they all have public jobs and but when they get off work from there they're here and on the weekends they're here usually and at night if they need to be. And during harvest they do because they've been working every night. I like being able to work with my kids, <laughs> all of them. And my in-laws too, I love them all. You know, I think we we're fortunate, you know, David's got uh, younger kids right now, they're in, they're in high school, six to start college. Every one of our kids have been there and and run the cleaners at night, run the crackers and the shellers. It's pretty cool to go in there at, 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 in the evening and then have uh, you know his daughter, who's a senior this year, uh, homecoming queen. Uh, we're pretty pretty cool to see her on the cleaning line. You know, just and she's good. going going wild. <laughs> she's really I think she good. beats us all on the speed. So, and then you know his son Dawson, uh, a couple of years younger. You know he's he's running the equipment, taking care of the trailers. You know, uh, and he's on the cleaner too. But it's it's pretty awesome to see that next generation in line. And I'm uh, I'm 75 now. A few days ago, a month or so ago, I was 75. But uh, I've got I've got enough people I think is going to carry it on.